flag has been waved because we're all ready to go here in Sochi. And it's lights out and away we go. And they were held for quite a long time. And Sebastian Vettel got a really good start. He's already wheel to wheel and past Lewis Hamilton. And here comes Carlos Sainz as well. Leclerc leads, Sebastian Vettel pulls over to the right hand side. The McLaren's getting interested. The Mercedes are dropping back. And Sebastian Vettel takes the lead into the first corner. Then comes Charles Leclerc. After them, Lewis Hamilton and Carlos Sainz going wide. The two houses of Magnussen. Ahead of Grosjean, Magnussen's had a great start from 13th and he's ahead of his team. Made, but Sebastian Vettel, what a launch he got! And Grosjean's out. Grosjean's out of this race on a track you can say is not one of his favourites in the world. Only one point finish. Oh, that's a heavy impact, that. There's Giovinazzi. He's up the inside. Or Ricardo's on the inside of Giovinazzi. Giovinazzi has nowhere to go. Ricardo's got nowhere to go. And Grosjean, he's uh, unexpected. Probably hasn't been able to see. There's, you're going three cars abreast, and he's been the unlucky one. I don't really think anybody's at fault there. I think that's just a racing incident. What a great launch from Sebastian Vettel. And we said that at the formation lap, it looked less engaged, but look, this is a punch that Charles Leclerc's putting in the air. And look at the slipstream. He cannot defend from that, and look, Vettel can absolutely nail it. Look at the McLarens, the start they've got, and look, Hulkenberg down to P9. Right, we're back in 15th place then with Kimi Räikkönen. Did he jump start? That's a jump start. That's a penalty coming Kimi Räikkönen's way then. Sebastian will let you by next lap. And Sebastian will let you by. Is this some sort of payback that's been arranged then for last time out in Singapore? Some recompense for Charles Leclerc? So I would have got him anyways. But let's break away for another two laps. Let me know. I get the feeling here that Ferrari are saying to Sebastian Vettel, you had quite an advantage with a slipstream. Not really fair on your teammate who got pole position and should get the preferred strategy. Here comes Valtteri Bottas, the car ahead of him was a McLaren. The car ahead of him is now his teammate, Lewis Hamilton. Bottas is up in the fourth place, that was fairly easy, with a bit of DRS assistance and those medium tyres starting to warm up now and giving Bottas some grip. And let Charles by. <laughs> now that, that is the way, Paul, that Sebastian Vettel can try and get out of this situation. I can't let him pass at the moment, he's, he's too far behind. Charles Leclerc's three and a half seconds further back as Nico Hülkenberg gets past Sergio Perez, locks up, but he puts the Renault up into eighth place. Yeah, that's uh, Verstappen, Verstappen on through, science, isn't it? Yep. So Sebastian Vettel stays out. For the second race running, the Ferrari that's behind is pitting first. This week, it's Charles Leclerc. Last week, of course, it was Sebastian Vettel. Medium compound tyres going on for the Ferrari. My rears are falling off now. And Albon's going to come back at Gasly on the inside through turn three here. This is properly personal, is this? And is Alex Albon ahead? No, Gasly has got the inside line, making it very difficult for Albon in the Red Bull to get past the man who would dearly love to be sat in that Red Bull. Lewis Hamilton takes over the lead of this race. By the way, every time Hamilton's led in Sochi, he's gone on to win the race. Is that an omen? Who knows this afternoon? This is a fascinating race. Charles Leclerc now coming round the final corner. Half a second slower, the pit stop with Sebastian Vettel than Charles Leclerc. And we need you to push, push this lap, push. And he has pushed. He's pushed to the extent that now Charles Leclerc is ahead of Sebastian Vettel. Not much in it between the two Ferraris. Sebastian Vettel was leading this race. Stop the car now, stop the car. He's serious. An MGUK problem for Sebastian Vettel has seen him retire from the Russian Grand Prix for what will be his first DNF of the season. This is just played right into Hamilton. Look, of course, they'll put under virtual safety car, won't they? And they'll so benefit for that. Ferrari's mechanical retirement with Sebastian Vettel has handed Mercedes the lead of the Russian Grand Prix and Lewis Hamilton might have just have been gifted a win here by one man's misfortune. Oh, oh George Russell in the safety barrier. That's... Under virtual safety car, has he hit something? Or... And he's gone straight on into the tyre barrier at the, uh, the d -d 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 left hander about turn eight, I think that is. Uh, something's broke. He's lost the brake pedal, I tell you. But luckily, he was going slow. 
Leclerc is a little bit closer to the Mercedes in front. DRS then is wide open for car number 16, and he's after Bottas. Here he comes. This time pulls out into the left hand side, to the right hand side. But this time, Valtteri Bottas is still just that bit too far ahead. Gasly who was going far too fast into turn two and a bid to get past Danny Kvyat almost wiped out the front wing of his teammate and ended up losing a place to Kimi Raikkonen as well. He locked up and he, he was so close to taking out his teammate's front wing. Look at that, oh dear. This is Albon and Sainz. Is Albon going to have another go around that, try and follow the car in front, then dive down the inside? You know what? He certainly did have a go, didn't he? Science knew he was coming. It's turned out to be a 1-2 finish for the Silver Arrows, who keep up their golden touch in Russia. Lewis Hamilton wins the Russia Grand Prix. Valtteri Bottas holds off Charles Leclerc to take second. And for the first time in a long while, Toto Wolf smiles at the end of a Grand Prix and probably breathes a huge sigh of relief as well. What an incredible job. Thank you so much, everyone. That's exactly what we needed. We never give up. And Lewis Hamilton wanted his team to rise to the challenge, and that's what Mercedes did. They extended their lead. He extended his lead in the Constructors and Drivers Championship, and we march on to Japan in a Formula One season in 2019 that is becoming more and more absorbing with every race. Ferrari threw down the gauntlet, didn't work out their way here in Russia, but who knows what will happen in two weeks' time in Japan.